another quick one as well. So now, yeah. okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about why the convention that 0 to a serious power is equal to 1 is seriously useful. First of all, let me explain the word convention. This is not a definition. Convention means that we'll just take this for granted in some situations. And maybe once we take this for granted in those situations, a lot of the things will be more convenient to compute, right? Just for convenience purpose. Maybe the things will be easier in those situations, right? And those things are not going to affect the big picture. So that's the idea, having a convention. And I want to tell you guys that I'm not saying 0 to 0 is equal to 1 in all the situations. And I'm also not talking about the limit. I'm just saying we will let 0 to 0 is equal to 1 in some situations. And because once we make that into 1, a lot of things will work out nicely. So what situations are we talking about? Well, this is seriously useful. So of course, we're talking about series. And when we're talking about series, how can I not talk about my best friend, right? So here we go. This is my best friend, all right, in series. And of course, you guys know this is just a geometric series. And what it says is that, well, first of all, I want to say this is my best friend. 1 over 1 minus x. And as you know, this is the rational function. And as a review, a power series is just a way to represent a complicated function such as this as an infinite polynomial, right? So this is the rather complicated function. And if you don't agree, just try to ask like a Calc 1 students to differentiate this, and you'll see how many people will get it wrong. But anyway, we will try to represent a complicated function with an infinite polynomial, and this is equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity, and the formula is x to the nth power. And that's my best friend. And to complete my best friend, I will have to tell you, this only works if the absolute value of x is less than 1, in order for the left-hand side to be the same as the right-hand side. Likewise, the right-hand side to be the same as the left-hand side. And the reason I say that back and forth is because sometimes we look at this back and forth. And I did a video on that as well, so you can check that out. Anyway, so what are we talking about? First of all, you really have to pay attention to the choice of the x values that you are pl plugging into the equation right here, right? As long as the absolute value of x is less than 1, this is legit. So I can say I can plug in x is equal to 1 half. And when I do that, I get 1 over 1 minus 1 half, like this, right? And this is pretty much the form of the power series for that. Now, of course, the left-hand side is just a number. The right-hand side is an infinite series. If you would like, you can just write this loud, right? write this down. The first term is you plugging 0 into n. And keep in mind of the order, I let x be 1 half first, right? And then I will plug in the n values. So the first one is going to be, we have the 1 half to the 0 power. And then the next one is going to be plus 1 half to the first power, and then 1 half to the second power. And because you have infinity, so you put on the dot, 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 right? And you can work this out. And pay close attention to what's the first term. This is 1 half to a 0 power, and this is equal to 1, right? And if you guys would like to know, you can comment down below. And if you have enough comments, I can talk about why we take a convention. Well, actually, no, a definition. Why do we define a non-zero number to a zero power to be 1, all right? It's a definition. It's not a proof whatsoever, right? But anyway, this is equal to 1. OK, so far, so good. Now, I can plug in 1 third, 2 over 5, negative 0 0.75, or something like that, because the value of them, right, the absolute value of them are less than 1. Can I plug in 0? Why not? Because if I plug in 0, you see, absolute value of 0, this is not LOL, this is the absolute value of 0. It is, of course, less than 1, isn't it? So, right here, I will tell you, let's go ahead and plug in x is equal to 0. And I will do the same thing as what we did earlier. On the left hand side, we have 1 over 1 minus 0. Okay? And on the right hand side, we will have the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. This time, the x is equal to 0. That will be for the base. And then raised to the nth power. Okay? And now let me erase this blue one right here. So, 
the order is once again we let x is equal to zero and now right here to write it out what's the first term well we have zero for the base and which is zero to here aha for the power like this what's this zero to a zero in your algebra class if you didn't have any convention then we'll be stuck but now with this convention being said we can say that this is equal to 1 by convention all right so I'll just say this is by convention and right here this right here was equal to 1 this was technically by the definition of the exponent but I'm not, I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to talk about this too much in this video. But you see, this is actually legit because I can still plug in 0 into the rest. I will have 0 to the first power plus 0 to the second power plus dot, dot, dot. I know, I know. The left-hand side right here is just 1 over 1 minus 1 half, namely 1 over 1 half and you flip that you get 2 okay so you get 1 plus the rest it's 2 okay so if you like this is equal to 2 what's this on the left hand side this is just 1 over 1 minus 0 which is 1 well all this are 0 because 0 to the first power is definitely 0 0 to the second power is definitely 0 and so on but we do have this guy to save us 0 to a 0 is legitimately equal to 1 by convention now. Aha! So we can say 1 is equal to 1, alright? So this is an example why we take the convention that 0 to a 0 is equal to 1 in power series. And if you would like, let me give you guys another quick one as well. So now, let me show you guys my other friend. So this is just another friend, alright? e to the x. I know this is a pretty easy function, but I would still like to talk about its power series for that. Namely, we'll end up with the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. What's this? x to the nth power and divided by n. Oreo! Aha, got you. Converge for all real value x. Alright, we are in calculus too, so yeah, all real numbers x. Of course, all real number x, I can definitely use 0. So let me just say, plug in 0 again. x is equal to 0. So on the left hand side, I will have e to the 0's power. And check this out. On the right hand side, I will have the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. On the top here is 0 to the n's power over n factorial. And now, here's the right out for this. I will plug in 0 into all the n's first, right? So it seems that we have 0 to the 0's power over 0 factorial. And then what's the next term? Let me just write down next term and then the, 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 the next, next term. 0 when n is equal to 1. And then we have 1 factorial. And then the next term is 0 square over 2 factorial and so on forever. Now, as I said earlier, 0 to the 0 right here, this is by convention, it's equal to 1, okay? And you see that on the left hand side, e to the 0's power, we know this is equal to 1. And if you look at all this, all this right here is just equal to 0, because 0 to the first power divided by 1 is 0, and then the rest are just 0. So now the question is, what is 0 factorial? As we can see, the left hand side, we must end up with a 1. And then on the right hand side, all these are 0, and we have a 1 on the top already. So what does that mean? It means that we must have a 1 on the bottom as well, so that 1 over 1 is equal to 1, isn't it? Well, with that being said, here is the note. We must have, we must take 0 factorial to be equal to 1, alright? So that you see, 1 over 1, we will end up with 1, and that's the happy 1 that we want to get on both sides, okay? and. This right here, it's really, really debatable in the sense that will you call this a convention or would you call this a definition? Because this happens in many other situations as well, alright? But in, my, in this video especially, I will say, in my opinion, this right here is by convention. Because 
it's just convenient for us to have this so that we have the one is equal to one, just like we have the convention zero to a zero is equal to one, all right? But in probability combinator, zero factorial is by definition, meaning by default, we'll just set that equal to one in all of their situations, okay? And final remark, zero to a zero is equal to one. It's a convention in the power series situation, but if you are talking to an algebra student, zero to a zero, it's undefined, right? We cannot compute what that is. And if you are talking about limits, the limit and then you end up with the form zero to a zero's power, you can get a lot of different numbers. If you haven't seen my videos, go check them out.